Hey guys, I've been working on this uh, class on and off for a few days now, and I think it's in a position now where I can um, release it uh, without any issues really. I've done a lot of debugging. I think it's good now. Uh, I'm going to put it on GitHub, although I've never used GitHub before for any projects or anything, so I'm not entirely sure how it works, so it'll be kind of a learning experience for me. But um, this is a image and pixel scanning class that... I primarily designed in a way that it'll be easy to use for um, like newbies, you know, or people who are like entry level, um, but still have really good performance, um, significantly more than the default image scan pixel search or image search pixel search functions in AutoHotKey. Um, this also has the added benefit that you can um, specify a, a title, so you can run it uh, for specific windows, and you can also scan in the background. So if you're playing a separate game and you want to be notified about um, a game in the background, you can do that. Uh, I'll go over um, some of the stuff here, but there is only one variable that you would ever need to mess with, mess with which is auto-update. By default it's one, which means whenever you call a scan function, it automatically updates the uh, pixel buffer with the, the current screen data. Um, if it's zero, you will have to manually call update function yourself before every scan to refresh it. The reason why you would maybe want to turn this off is if you needed to scan multiple different things on one single frame, uh, you could do it this way. But for most people, leaving it one will be totally fine. Uh, as far as the functions go, you have scan image, which scans either the window or the screen for an image. Uh, scan image region is the same thing, but you can specify um, a starting x and y and a width and height. Uh, image count gives you the amount of images found. Region is the region. Scan image array is similar to count. It gives you um, uh, the amount of images found, but also it returns an array to all their locations, which could be useful if you need to find an image that's closest to a certain position, or if you need to know like there's certain images over here, certain images over there. You could do that. Um, scan pixel finds, you know, pixel. Uh, pixel region, same thing within region, then pixel count. You know, it's pretty pretty obvious what these do. Um, this is all internal stuff, by the way. You don't need to touch any of this. It's fine. Um, then we have uh, functions, and I have commented them uh, as best I think I'm able to. They're pretty self-explanatory. And the uh, as far as actually using it is also very simple. You need to include the, um, the class file, and then you need to create a new instance of the class. Uh, in this case, I'm specifying the first parameter uh, as my uh, title of the window I'm using, which I might have forgotten to go over that, but the, there is only one parameter, which is the title. Um, if you leave it blank, it'll use the desktop, which is how the um, default auto hockey um, functions work. They, they scan the desktop, but here I'm specifying a title for a window because I want to scan the window specifically. So, um, let me... Uh, let me grab some stuff here for a use case. Uh, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, one second. But anyway, um, in the, in this game, you can attack NPCs with spells, which give you experience. Um, but if you don't kill them, you can just stay on them for up to 15 minutes at a time, gaining experience. But after 15 minutes of not interacting with the game, your character will stop doing anything. So every 15 minutes you need to interact. And what I do is is I set a timer um, that, that just says every 15 minutes um, check. But that's not super useful because sometimes you interact and then it sets the timer off. So a better way to do it is to scan the screen to know when you've stopped. And this image in particular at the top of the screen is always present when you're doing this activity. So I'm going to press Alt Print Screen. And I'm going to go into GIMP, which is a, a free um, image editing software. Uh, it did... Okay, I might have... Okay. Okay, it's not pasting my file in. Um, okay. Pressing Alt, print screen, and nothing. Uh, give me a minute while I figure this out. Be right back. Okay, I don't know. Control V wasn't working, but anyway, here we go. Uh, so this is the this is the icon that I'm talking about. It's always present when you're doing this activity, and when you stop, it goes away. Um, you could scan it, 
like this where you get where you take the image like this and you go in and you delete um you like delete this and you get um like the exact image but you don't need this in a lot of cases and and if you can get away with not using um transparent pixels it is significantly faster um scanning an image takes around 10 milliseconds with no alpha just a just scanning one for one image uh, if there is alpha it can take um you know twice maybe three times as long so it's not like significantly slow but if you really really want speed try and get images that don't have transparent pixels but anyway uh control shift v on that by the way opens it into a new window and then i'm going to export this as um hats.png and save the background color doesn't really matter uh, now if i come into here i can say message box uh, scan dot image and the first parameter is the file in this case hat.png second one is um variance uh for like you know how many pixels off can it be to match colors so if if the color slightly changes in your game you'll want to specify a value here in mine it doesn't so i don't need that uh, and then the next two are the x and y output variables and then we'll do uh, x and y so i'm going to go ahead and run this program here and it specifies one for scan image, which means it was found. And then the X and Y position are here. So very fast, very simple, very easy. Um, a way to make use of this is making a timer for say notify every one second. We're gonna even do, do every half second. It doesn't really matter. And then uh, we'll do if not scan image hat. We don't need these, we're not using them. We're just checking to see if it exists. Uh, if it doesn't exist, then message box uh, stopped, stop slash on this guy. And then uh, I'll go ahead and press F9 to reload that. And nothing happened because it is finding this image. So everything's okay. But if I were to say move and stop, this image would go away. And we would get a message box saying that we've stopped. You could um, change this message box to be um, playing a sound or showing a window, flashing something to get your attention. Either way, it tells you immediately when you stopped and you can do something uh, about it. But that's a really simple um, scenario. How about something a little bit less simple? Something like um, smithing cannonballs, which this is an activity you do that takes about one and a half minutes to do. So it's relatively AFK. But it, you can easily forget about it, and you can waste a ton of time with, with your character just sitting there. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some images here. And I'm going to use my own program for this, because it's just a little bit quicker. A little bit easier for me. But, do that, and I'll save this as uh, steel bar. And then I also want to... I could just call um, scan image count, which would... Um, give me the number of these images on screen. However, if I had my bank open, it would scan this one as well. Uh, or if there is, you know, if it was anywhere else present, it would also scan that. So I just want to scan the inventory instead. But if you move the window, you'll notice the inventory position changes. So I'm going to grab a static element on this inventory, which in this case is going to be the swords. I'm going to use that to determine where the inventory is at. So in this program here, I'm going to go up to the swords and I'm going to grab this, this little section here, which should be fine. And then I'm going to save that as swords. And then I'm now going to get an offset to the inventory. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from where uh, the top left is of the image. Cause this is where uh, my program would return the X and Y. So I'll start here and uh, I'll zoom out and I'll drag it to be about this area. This should be fine. And it's 202 by 294. Now, if you want to do this in GIMP, you would just um, do pretty much the exact same thing. You would get your image from there, and then you would drag this um, drag this square out. And then the width and height would be over here, if you were going to do it in GIMP. But I'm just going to use this, because it's a little bit quicker. But we will do if scan.image uh, swords um, dot png, whoops. And then uh, zero. Inventory X, inventory Y. This is gonna 
basically hold the the x y in position but we're only going to do this if it's found otherwise something's wrong and like the game's not open or something but we'll say inventory width equals uh 202 and inventory height equals 294 i'm getting that from up here the size of the selected region and then um if it finds it it'll set the timer and then we'll go to the timer and for now we'll just do a simple tooltip so we'll do scan dot image count region and we're using a steel part of png uh and then inventory x inventory y inventory width inventory height uh you can specify transparency here if you wanted to i don't need to so i'm not going to uh, bother with that but if i reload it now um it should give me a tooltip and it says 27 because that's how many i have but you'll notice if the if the if the tooltip goes over the bar it's no longer red anymore so that is one situation that there's nothing you can really do about it. it's just how the game works but uh i'm gonna i'm not gonna be in the game anyway so it doesn't bother me um i'll go ahead and start smithing this so you can see in real time as they get used up the uh tooltip will start changing because it's uh you know it's updating um what you could do here is you can obviously use this value to have like um, an overlay that shows you how many bars you currently have uh you can even write a function that determines how many you have um, times it by a static amount of time is how much longer it will take so if you have like 20 and it takes 10 seconds it'll be 200 seconds you know convert that into um you know minutes or whatever um or you could do like if um if scan dot image well actually i'll just copy and paste this but we can do if scan dot image count region is smaller than uh 10 then you can do like message box um running out of bars or something um actually let's put that at 15 since we're almost there so then i'll press reload and you can see it's um doing its own thing updating the tooltip with the correct amount and once it hits that 15 well below 15 so the next one you should get a message box and there you go message box right away so it's an easy way to interact with the game and like i said it does work in the background so you see it says 13 out and it works um those are two simple things you could do they're relatively quick and easy um another function is like um you can get the pixel count so scan that pixel count and Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, uh, pixels, the, the colors can be, um, uh, they can be in RGB format or ARGB format. The program internally uses ARGB, but it does get converted if you use RGB. So you can specify to something like um, red, green, blue. That's fine. But also alpha red, green, blue is also fine. Um, I'll just keep it red, green, blue. And then if I rerun that program, uh, it's uh, 56 and the reason it's 56 is because it's this is a green value right up here and there's 28 pixels here and there's 28 here so that's 56 but anyway uh, that's that's the class like I said I tried to make it really easy to use like um, very minimal effort from the user but also very fast um, if you don't want to use a window you want to use it in um, desktop mode you can just do it like this and then uh, actually I'll just uh, show you here so this is now in desktop mode and if I do, uh, if I instead of do uh, pixel instead, uh, actually, let me get the X and Y here. The message box percent X and Y. So this is in desktop mode. And it says the pixel is uh, 1177139. Now, if I put this back to windowed mode, you'll see that this, uh, oops, this pixel address will change. So uh, 1177139. And now it's 1126.89 because it's now. Uh, relative to the client position or the client coordinates of the window so yeah that's pretty much it um let me know if there's anything else you want me to change or add if there's any like anything you want that i could add i'll try and uh, i'll try and do that but i think the functions that i have written in there should pretty much be enough for everybody so i uh, hope you guys have fun with it and uh, yeah i'll catch you later